2016 had his award winner for best alternative song, Best Itakula, has won the hat of fans with his genre of music, which is completely different from the fast-paced pop genre within the contemporary market. When asked if he was under any pressure to tweak his style, he had this to say. Um, I always get this question, you know, like, how am I going to switch to, you know, Afro-pop, you know, and all of that. Uh, for me, I do the kind of music that I do because I love it and I do the kind of music that I do because this is the stage I'm at creatively. Now, if I get inspired to do Afro pop or pop or whatever sound tomorrow, you know, then it's an inspiration that comes for me to create that sound. Does that mean that I'm switching totally to that sound? I'm not sure, you know, but even the baggy child sound, I didn't know I was going to do that, you know, because I had to travel to my village, create local sounds, and then put it into the music. But I never knew I was going to do that when I had the first album, Super Sun. You know, so I go with the flow. I go with where I'm being inspired, you know, and I go with where I'm growing and evolving to. He went further to talk about the influence of his parents on his music. Um, I mean, growing up was interesting, you know. Uh, my dad used to play the guitar, and then my mom would sing with him. You know, so, and they had a tape that they created. So it was interesting listening to music and your, your, your parents are coming out of the tape. So that was, that was the influence that both of my parents had on me musically. Uh, with the style of music I'm doing, I mean, they had these record collections of country, pop, you know, blues as they call it then. So um, that influenced me a lot too, you know. But I think uh, work ethic wise, you know, her tenacity is just incredible. We asked him if he would be exploring other profitable streams as sites music and he had this to say. Well, I mean, um, <clears throat> I've always been a businessman, you know, that's why I started like uh, running the Bears Life series myself. Um, for me, I think uh, when you diversify a portfolio, it doesn't really have to go outside the industry. You know, it could be diversified in the industry. You know, so like you said, acting, you know, is something that I've thought about. I'm not sure I'm that good at acting, you know, but I may try. Uh, but definitely creating concerts and creating platform for people to, to, to ride on is something I'm really willing to do this year a lot of. Finally, we asked him about his upcoming project and plans for 2017. Yeah, um, this year, you know, for me, it will be, it will be, it will be uh, very big on collaborations, especially African artists, because uh, I think we need to embrace where we are on our own first, you know, and uh, definitely I'm looking forward to, to collaborating with more uh, international artists who hold their own in, in Europe, in Asia, in America, you know, but we're starting with African artists. Hey,